Doors opening. Good morning, Ashley. Morning, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, great. Brilliant. Where are we today? We're here in Glasgow. This is Transport Scotland, and I've been working here for the last 12 months as a graduate civil engineer. Fantastic. Um, so we're going to do 23 questions. Great. Let's get started. Great. Sounds good. So what's the first thing you did this morning? Um, this morning I snoozed for about 40 minutes. <laughs> And what's the last thing you usually do at night? Um, thankfully I'm a good sleeper so I close my eyes. That's the last thing I do. And what do you prefer, Glasgow or Edinburgh? Um, that's a difficult question. I suppose I have to say Glasgow because I'm living in Glasgow. Um, I do love Glasgow. The people here are absolutely amazing. Um, so friendly and I love the, the people who I'm working with. Um, it's so charming. There's so much culture, especially the music. Everything about it is, um, is stunning. But also Edinburgh is, is absolutely amazing. It's a really beautiful city. Um, I spent four or five years in, in Edinburgh and especially at my time at Napier, I was exposed to a lot more um, diversity, I suppose, different people, cultures, traditions. And this is something I was never exposed to in, in my home country in Ireland. Um, so Glasgow will always be my home for now, but Edinburgh always has a little bit of my heart. Brilliant. And you have a passion for renewable energy. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, sure. So um, renewable energy is something that's um, very a passion of mine. Um, it's it's something that's around us. Um, we are using the the environment, uh, the wind, energy, uh, solar. Um, there's so many different things around us that we can use to make energy for free. So for me, it just makes sense. And can you tell us who your idol is? Oh, this can change um, daily, weekly for me. Um, I love Oprah. Um, I love uh, uh, t TED Talks from Brené Brown. Um, so I have so many different idols. I love Sheryl Sandberg um, at the moment. Um, I'm reading her Lean In book, which is a great book I would recommend for, for young women starting off in their career. And can you tell me what your favourite season is? Autumn. Why? Um, I love autumn because um, it's starting to get cooler, the mornings are nice and fresh, um, you have the le lead up to Christmas and also it's my birthday. Brilliant. Why do you volunteer for the Youth Leadership Programme? So I volunteer with a Youth Leadership Programme, it's called METAL, and METAL is an old Irish word. Um, it's a word um, used years ago where farmers used to work together. Um, I would go to my neighbour's farm and help out um, and then everybody helps with a common goal. So for this youth, uh, youth leadership programme it's um, by training young um, teenagers to go back to their secondary school um, and to help first year settle into secondary school. Um, so I love volunteering um, when I can, unfortunately when, when you've got a career your holidays are a little bit limited so um, I can't go every year but I try and stay touch, uh, in touch with with, with the programme and I have a lot of friends from, from, from volunteering there and I think it's important when you're in a different uh, career, high pressure career, no matter what career you go into, that you surround yourself with lots of different, different types of people um, because it's important for me to stay grounded and to remember that there's not just engineering in the world, there's other people and other industries around me. And can you tell me your favourite place in the world? I have to say Ireland. Why? <laughs> it's my home. Um, so yeah, I think I I don't think you could argue with me on that one. <laughs> and um, name your ideal dinner party guests. I would love if I could choose two and be cheeky. I would choose Tiffany Haddish and Robin Williams. Um, I think I just have a ball. Probably wouldn't be able to eat because I think my face would hurt too much from laughing. So yeah, I think the two of them. Excellent choices. And here's a good one. All engineers wear hard hats. Nope, definitely not. And can you tell me about this? situation that moved you um, I have to say um, it was a movie that I watched um, um, I love Julia Roberts and her uh, she's got a movie called Wonder um, it was a really moving film so definitely recommended you've got a lot of achievements um, can you tell me which you're most proud of um, I have to say um, I have personal achievements and I've career academic achievements um, moving over here to Scotland on my own was a huge achievement for me um, it was it was something that I struggled with at the beginning I suppose but once I kind of had the support of my family that you're not trapped there if you want to come home that's fine kind of took the pressure off so I have to say that um, 
my time uh, in Scotland uh, has developed me as a person. I've become more resilient, more independent. Um, and uh, along with that, it's opened up opportunities. Like I've, I completed my PhD in December 17. So um, along with my academic achievements, I think they complement my personal achievements or my personal characteristics as well. Amazing. And what makes you laugh the most? Uh, surrounding myself with friends and family and having a good belly laugh. I think we all need more belly laughs in life, so definitely just surround yourself with good people. I agree with that. <laughs> what do you do to relax? I love yoga um, and I love just chilling with friends. Name one thing you must have with you stranded on a desert island. I would definitely bring my phone so I could call somebody to pick me up. <laughs> What's your message for aspiring female engineers? Um, my message is that engineering is an option. I think um, I'm very lucky that I have a lot of support from strong women in my life. Um, here at Transport Scotland, we're lucky to have 50-50 gender balance on our board of directors. And one of our directors um, gave me a good bit of advice and um, said to us that there's only barriers there if you, if you make them. Um, I would also say that a very a very special quote to me um, that's nearly like my life motto um, that Richard Branson um, said once was if anybody offers you an amazing opportunity say yes first and then figure out how to do it so um, I have to say that to, to young women out there it's an option no matter what career you go into um, uh, just just do your best and it's uh, welcome to the engineering club if you choose that and if you could walk in the shoes of anyone for one day, who would it be? Oprah. Definitely. iPhone. iPhone or Android? iPhone, all the way. Could you bungee jump? No, I wouldn't bungee jump, but you could tempt me to do a skydive. Sweet or savoury? Sweet, every time. And lastly, what does International Women in Engineering Day mean to you? Firstly, I see myself as an engineer and then I would see myself um, as an engineer who happens to be a woman. So for me, International Women's Day um, allows me to talk about and to me to showcase the work that I do in the engineering field. Um, I think it's really important um, as females to be visible. I think that says more than actually defining um, my gender. So I think it's just about showing young women that this is an option um, and um, yeah, you can do it and there's 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 no barriers there for you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks for having me. Go off and enjoy your day. <laughs>